talking with Jonathan today after tennis, and we were discussing uh, central equilibrium and how it's come up that it's not as easy for some people to get to that, get to that state, get to that, really get a, a strong central equilibrium. And I think um, as much as I've talked about it, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more and clarify one thing that I really want to emphasize because last week I was emphasizing the importance of not pushing your butt out past your foot whenever you're making that, making one leg substantial or, or um, moving. So you, you don't want the, the butt to go lateral at all. So we, uh, the, the nickname we have for it is JBS or jutting butt syndrome. And the, it's from a, a very mechanical substantial perspective. What it means is that if, if my first motion, if I'm gonna take a step forward is to rock into this, this my right leg here, and by doing it, by, by just shifting my weight and pushing my butt out to the side to make a step forward, I can make that step, but I am not rooted in that, in that situation. I'm floating. And reason why is because I am not sung qua. So that's, we want, we need that, that qua to be released in order to unkink the hose and allow the torso and the leg to, to function together. So if I'm rocked into here, I cannot release my, my hip bone. The muscles that are supporting it need to be engaged. They need to be tight in order to be able to prevent me from falling over. So consequently, I cannot achieve Sun Kwa whenever, whenever I do that. So the key here is how do I get my weight into my right leg and be able to make that, that step without um, pushing my butt out? And that is to feel the ball of the foot, set the knee and spiral down and then turn. And so notice that my butt did not go out. It just spiraled. And that enables me to then step forward under control because this leg is then, I'm able to get some quan and, and so my root is well established. There is no jutting butt syndrome. If I try to do that, if I push my butt out and then try to get some qua, I'm just gonna throw everything off. So the, uh, one of the problems that I see happening, probably in about half of the people I work on as a, uh, as a polarity therapist, is that there is a pelvic imbalance in some way. And it's usually because of the way people stand over, over a lifetime. Very few people stand with their weight evenly distributed between their feet unless they're consciously doing it. And it, for, but for most people, there's a, there's a tendency to, to rock to one side or the other, or there's a tendency to, to lock your knees and then, and then jut your butt out so that the pelvic is rocked forward. Those are the, the, the most common. There's also a, a, a posterior tilt with the pelvis, but you don't see that quite as often. Mostly it's, it's, there's a uh, pronounced uh, lower back curve that pushes the butt out. And there's, or there's, it's butt is pushed one side or the other, basically JBS. 